kettle's on there now. It's pretty well every single morning I get up, I come straight to my computer, check my stats, check my emails in case there are any business emails. Have a look at my numbers. So what is this video doing? It's timber frame, 12 hours, 324. Not bad. Doing okay. Sub count is up a little bit from last night. Um, views are updated once a day, so views aren't live. Everything looks good. Go in and check my emails. Wait for that kettle to boil. So YouTube has become a bit more of a side job than a hobby at this point. I've become a little bit obsessed with growing it. It's still a hobby. I started out for fun, but with the intent of hopefully building some kind of revenue stream. I hope. I uh, I learned early on that you could earn some kind of money from it. So figured I'd give it a try, and it was a hobby. I was just kind of filming what I was doing, which I think is the key to YouTube is not making it too artificial. Always just uh, show your own passion. Uh, I learned that from Casey Neistat. Uh, most of you have probably heard of Casey. Uh, I watched him for a long time. I don't really watch him now, but uh, just shoot what you're passionate about. Wrangler Star as well. Uh, I really love Wrangler Star. But uh, that's kind of what I've been doing all the way along. And that means you include people at times and exclude those same people at times. Sometimes I'm going through a knife phase and people are just not interested. And then I'll get into a spurt like right now where I'm a little more into tools and woodworking. And um, those people that weren't interested in knives might be super interested in what I'm doing now. So it's definitely a lot of fun. And uh, it's, it's a fair amount of work too. Always making sure I got some content. I try at minimum one video a week. I never go more than six, seven days unless it's a really serious issue. But uh, yeah, I love it. It's a lot of work. I'll get up now. I'll go through my comments. I'll answer some comments now. I'll see what all my stats are doing. Check my analytics. See if there's anything I can uh, drop some ideas on. This is my computer set up here. It's a Dell. It's a bit of a power horse. It's the XPS chassis with. Uh, all the good specs. I'm not a big computer, big computer geek. Uh, got a bit of a sound system hooked up over there, but I wear headphones a lot when I'm editing. 24 inch screen. It's great. Plus, I can sit beside this window here. Beautiful sun rising over the hills out there this morning. There you go, vlog style video in the shop here. It's the bench I was picking at last night. Uh, I just got these posts laid up here to see where about I might put the legs. Great, really great. Talk about the vice later, full video coming just on that alone. Bit of mess here, you see. I am gonna work on some leg posts today. These are my four leg posts. The bottoms are already done and chamfered. Tops are going to be tinned, so I didn't bother squaring those off. They're just raw edges. So it is now getting close to lunchtime. Still a dark and dizzy day. It's rained a little bit, but I've been in here like normal filming. Uh, oops, sorry about that. 
So I'm actually a teacher. This is Saturday morning, so I'm only substitute teaching right now. But uh, any spare time I get, I'm either working, doing uh, some renovation work up around my dad's property, or I'm in here filming, whether that's sharpening work, and most of you know I also run Atlantic Sharpening, my little sharpening business on the side, myself and Ray. So, balancing a lot with a brand new baby. But I've been in here most of the morning, cutting tenons, uh, doing some work on the workbench. This is this project's been going for a few weeks now, but uh, getting somewhere this morning. And then after lunch, I'm heading up to my dad's to do some work. Happy Saturday. Just cleaning up here in the shop, and uh, I was thinking about this vlog style video I've been doing because as I'm vlogging today about here in the shop, I'm also filming the actual video for the joinery for the timber frame bench. And what I don't like about vlogs is people have mentioned to me before, you know, I uh, do bushcrafting videos and such, and people talk about, you know, why do you do these fancy edits? Why don't you just uh, take the camera and vlog what you're doing? Just talk to the camera. And what I don't like about that is that you miss the little things. For me, I try to convey the beauty that I notice. Too many people just brush over the fact, yeah, I'm working here in the shop and I'm cutting like joineries, blah, blah, blah. And that's the portion of their vlog where they're in the shop. For me, I want to see the little things, the beauty in it. And that's what I try to find with the camera. That's why you get the close ups with the nice music, almost a romantic feel at times to what I'm doing here. Because that's how I feel when I'm doing it. And I try to convey that in video. And same thing when I'm in doing uh, a bushcraft, and you get those close-ups and the slow motion around the fire and striking the fire steel. Those what I call beautiful shots. Some people just don't like that, which I find a little strange, but uh, to each their own. But that's not my style, and you're not going to see that style from my channel. So just uh, that's just a thought I had while I'm vlogging here today. All right, guys, my wife, my baby, and I are on the way to the next town, town where my parents live. I mentioned this morning that uh, I was going to be working with my dad some this afternoon. So it's one right now. I just finished lunch in the house. Didn't take you long for that because that's family time. But uh, yeah, I'm headed up to do some work. Show you around up there. It's on gravel road here now. Pulling into the driveway. Let's go have a look. Hey. So here's the piece I've been working on here. Oh, just speaking to the camera here. So this complete this room here and all the railing and everything completely rebuilt. I showed a picture on my Instagram. Saturday afternoon nap. So that was nice. A whole bunch of family here now, and uh, we're all having supper together Saturday evening. So. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, exactly 7 p.m. now. As you can tell, it's got nice and dark out. Uh, it's pitch dark out now. I'm just back in the shop, just back from my parents' house. Had a lovely time. The baby is in getting fed. And I'm out for a little bit more shop time. I have one hour. <laughs> I'm guessing 
Most of you people know what that means. No, I've been on the go. I'm on the go most days outside, so either in my workshop or working somewhere. So, in the evenings, my wife likes to have me in to spend time with the family. Fully understandable. Just to have me there, because I'll probably go in tonight and spend probably two, three plus hours editing on the computer. And we'll probably watch some TV. But for right now, shop time. <laughs>